Okay, Breaker Brook 23 here. So we are outside currently. We're gonna do a patented Breaker Brook 23 range test. First up today, we're gonna to use the Micus RTX Pro. Uh, this is brand new from Micus, 5.1 technology. I'll leave all the info to this down below. We're out here at a park in an undisclosed location in beautiful Salt Lake City, Utah. It's about 98 degrees right now. So I have a JBL Flip 5 paired to this right now. So what we're gonna do, we're gonna see what kind of a distance and open field circumstances we get. So let's uh, fire up the music, take a walk. Here's 33 feet. 50. 75, 100, 125, I expect this, 150, coming up on 175 feet. 200 foot mark. This is with the stock antenna, by the way. 225. 250. 275. 300 feet. 325. Oh, we're going to go to the end here. The end is 400. Here's 350. 375. 400. This was about 415. I'm actually to the end of my line. Way down there. All right, let's see here. Let's go a little further. Let's see if we can get past this chain link fence. They're down there, tripods down there. See if that chain link fence messes with us. Okay, this is better than I expected. There we go. So we're gonna make it to about, even though we're going through the chain link fence, we're a little over 400. I'm gonna say about 435. That's gonna be about it. I mean, can we go any further? No, that chain link fence pretty much just wipes us out. So that's pretty good. So, what does this prove? Well, in open air, it'll go over 400 feet, which is awesome. So, yeah, this isn't like a real world type setup, like where it'd be in your house or anything like that. But this will give you guys an idea of what it can do. So maybe uh, you wanna take your Bluetooth speaker out into the yard or out into the shed. You know, technically you could go and you could put the RTX Pro in your window and get a range like this unobstructed. So, all right. I want to test the old school uh, Micus RTX. This is the, uh, that would be the uh, Bluetooth 4.0 version. And that unit's been out for, oh gosh, probably around four years now, maybe five years. So let's get back down there and uh, put that one up for the test. Let's see how it compares against new Bluetooth 5.0 technology. Okay, so now I've got the old school Micus RTX, uh, what was that, a 2.0, I believe. And uh, 
that's all hooked up, paired up to the Flip 5. So let's hit play and take a walk. See how far we can go. Okay, well here's our 33 foot level. I won't count them all off for you here. We'll just kind of go until we don't have any more space. So we came over here to this little local park. They've got a couple baseball diamonds here, back to back. The uh, new RTX uh, Pro Home covered the whole lot here. So let's see how the old one does. What are we at here? We are at uh, 250 feet. So I tested this old Micus RTX back up in the woods, up in Washington State, and I got about 411 feet. And there was somebody that said, yeah, breaker broke. I'm calling BS on that. That thing can't do no 400 feet. Well, let's see. This is 350 right here. 375 and 400 and then to the gate was about 410 which is what we got last time so they will do 400 feet let's take a quick walk and see if we can go around the fence we're kind of taking the scenic route but I can't hop a fence and film now the fence, like I said before, is a barrier because it's metal, right? Chain link. So far, this is about the same range as the, uh, the first unit we tested. There it is. Wow, can we go further? Okay, at this point, what I'm gonna do, I'm just gonna walk till it cuts out. Then we'll go get the measuring wheel. We'll come back here and wrap up this video. This is insane. By the way, this is the same antenna I was using on the, uh, the Micus, uh, Pro home. Look at that. And I'm not holding it up in the air to try to cheat or anything. That's crazy. <laughs> oh my gosh. Let's go down here. There it is. There she cuts out right there. So we are another good i'm gonna take a guess about another good 100 150 feet past the fence going through the chain link fence that's just sick you guys so you know this is this is micus i've had really good luck with this stuff so anyway i'll leave links to this down below we packed up camp uh picked up all the flags and everything and i wanted to find out how far it was from that 400 foot flag to where we finally cut out which was right here that was an extra 227 feet so we got 627 feet out of that last test that's crazy um, and that includes having the chain link fence uh, kind of act as a as a barrier so could we have gone a little bit further? I'm not really sure, but uh, all right. Well, we're gonna go back to home base and then uh, wrap this stuff up. Okay, well, that was fun. That was 98 degrees and 8% humidity out there. And uh, it's it was kind of hot. So anyway, I marked out uh, with the flags, I, I marked out to 400 feet. 
and I expected both of them to go to 400 feet for sure. Um, that really wasn't news to me. Um, I learned something though. I do need to go and find another venue. We're going to need some more room. So I went and um, I got the uh, measuring wheel out and this one actually clocked out at about 415 feet, give or take a little bit, but it was about 415 average. And that's pretty good. The old school RTX 2.0 maxed out at 627 feet. That's just cr insane. That's crazy. I tested this out about, what, three or four years ago out in the woods up in Washington State. And it was in the mid-50s temperature-wise. And it was at its usual 50-55% humidity up there. And this clocked out at about 411 feet. And I believe the difference in... Um, Humidity uh, is why I got more range out of this. Um, at 2.4 gigahertz, yeah, humidity um, can affect range, meaning higher humidity would, would knock the range down a little bit. So 627, that's just awesome. I mean, I can't believe that. So anyway, well, we all saw it, right? So anyway, what does that prove? Well, it proves that both of these units are really strong performers. Now. Why would I want one or the other? Well, this is this is this is interesting. This is an old school one. This is like um, maybe Bluetooth 4.0, 3.2, somewhere in there. This is Bluetooth 5.0. Um, I use this one exclusively at my house to rebroadcast shortwave radio, CB radio, and uh, AM/FM radio from my tabletop Sanjean receiver, and. Um, this just works really well. I plug my radios into this via the analog input, and then I rebroadcast to any number of um, Bluetooth speakers that I have. And um, I like to do that because then I don't have to worry about taking the radio outside with me. I can just take a Bluetooth speaker with me. Most all of my Bluetooth speakers are waterproof, so I don't care if it gets hit with the hose or I drop it or something. So that's why I like to do that. This one's always given me really good performance. However, it can be a little sticky on um, pairing to some speakers. Sometimes you got to play around with it a little bit. There's a couple speakers that this doesn't really like very much, and uh, like the Sony... Uh, my little Sony speaker doesn't really like too much, and it, it can be a little rough on that. But anyway, Ruthless Range, if you're just thinking of broadcasting music uh, from your house to uh, outdoors, I think this is the one to go with. Now, if you're into video, and whether this is gaming or hooking up to your TV, then I would suggest this one. This is Bluetooth 5.0 technology. This one is ultra, ultra low latency. It supports most of the new codecs, so you're covered in all that area. This has the same proper SMA connector, so you can play around with various antennas to uh, get better range. Um, it has analog 3.5 millimeter input. We have uh, optical input and then HDMI input, and HDMI is a pass-through as well. So you could permanently mount this in line between, say, your TV and your soundbar, or your TV and maybe a uh, audio video receiver. So you wouldn't have to fiddle around with that. This also has pretty much, I mean, they say low latency. I say no latency. Um, this just goes with so many Bluetooth headphones, and the lip sync, the latency is just is just phenomenal with this. I really like this. And you know, that's a pretty respectable 415 feet of range. Now, inside a house, I mean like in a real world situation, either one of these are gonna pretty much mostly cover your upstairs floor of your house or whatever uh, floor your TV is on or your radio is on. Um, you know, going upstairs to another level or downstairs to another level. You may have some problems here and there, you know, your results will vary, obviously. But I did the outdoor range test because I want you to, to show you guys, like, what they are capable of and which unit is going to fit your your need. This unit, I believe, is coming in at around $40, and this one is about $80. So there's a little bit of difference there. If you're just, you know, if you're a TV guy or a gamer guy, this is the one for you, for sure. All right? You can, in fact, I've done this. You can watch TV and walk around the house with your Bluetooth headphones on. You know, I've done my dishes and a little bit of housework listening to my, you know, TV through my Bluetooth headphones. I don't have to be sitting there with my face glued to the uh, screen. This one here, 
I think would be great if you're the type of person that's just interested in um, just Bluetoothing music outside to to an outside source. Doing outside, you know, if you're out uh, doing yard work or whatever. So anyway, they both have their purpose and they're both very long range. I hope you guys enjoyed this little video. I appreciate it. If you have not subscribed, please um, consider doing so. Please leave questions or comments down below. Thank you very much. I'll leave links to this stuff on Amazon down below in the description box as well. Every time you buy something from Amazon, I get a slight commission. It does not come out of your pocket. It comes out of Dr. Evil's pocket. And that's what helps fund this channel so I can go out and do these things. All right. Thanks for watching.